everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Okay, I've got a pretty exciting video for you. It turns out that last night we got a winter storm. And so um, I had to make a decision whether or not I wanted to do a load. And uh, most of the drivers decided not to. But I said, sure, why not? And uh, I was thinking that I was gonna get like a whole bunch of loads, right? Because the, winter, the weather's bad and nobody's gonna wanna drive. So I'd just be doing like back-to-back -back loads and like make all kinds of money, right? No. The weather got so bad. Well, I did go ahead and go pick up a load. And uh, driving to the loading facility was pretty harrowing. And then uh, at the loading facility itself, that was crazy. I had to get up on top of my trailer and you'll see all this in the video. Uh, the visibility was really bad on the roads. It was slick and there was, you know, so much snow on the roads you couldn't even really see where the road was. on top of the trailer and close the hatch so this is this is what I'm dealing with here gotta get up there big heavy boots on. They're really clunky, so whatever. Hey, there's the sand down in there. Okay. Okay. You get the, you get the gist of it. Uh, uh, the show must go on. Exhausting drive. It was over 120 miles. So when I finally got to the well, now we've got to go up these steep hills to get like just to the staging pad. With me carrying 79,000 pounds, um, that truck was really not going to make it up that hill. <laughs> so, but because I have this super nice truck that's an 18 speed. I got to go into beast mode. Beast mode meaning I went into low, low gear on this 18 speed and then I put in my differential locks. Okay, with doing that, I was able to get up the hill, but just barely. There were others that didn't make it up the hill. Uh, so anyway, um, got to the staging pad, uh, <clears throat> sat there all night, and then on into the morning, um, strange things were happening, meaning actu actually nothing was happening. Um, 
I woke up and I'll look out and like, you know, like, gosh, did I go to another planet or something? Um, <clears throat> it makes you feel a little rejected because there is a sand coordinator around somewhere. And so whenever I got a hold of him, I'm like, what's going on? And it turns out that um, the company man shut, shut the well down because the there were too many trucks that were having trouble getting up to the well pad and and all this stuff and so he just decided to you know wait until everything thaws out okay so that means like the next day or the day after so I'm sitting with this load of sand remember what I was saying at the beginning that I thought I was going to be running 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 no <laughs> no just everything came to a screeching halt so I sit with this load of sand for uh, 36 hours, what happens there is uh, you get paid for that, you know, but it's not as much as if you were to do another load, so. Okay, I have got to finish telling this story. There really isn't too much more um, to the story other than what I told you. So, um, do I regret taking that load? No, I don't. And would I do it again? Mm, I don't know. Depends on what mood I'm in. Um, but here's what I got out of it. Um, it is, it's gonna pay okay, you know. I'm not gonna be out any money. So, you know, what I got out of it is the satisfaction of a job well done. And um, that was a very difficult task, you know, to get up there on top of that trailer and uh, deal with all of the, the cold and the the icy uh, conditions. Those are the kinds of things about this job that give me fulfillment and a sense of pride. And uh, you know, this, this job out here presents challenges almost every day, but that one was, a, it was pretty high up there on the list as far as, you know, challenging with, with the road conditions and everything involved. And then also, you know, I had to, I had to have patience. I had to uh, keep my cool and not freak out whenever I wound up on the staging pad all by myself not knowing what was going on and wound up having that load for three days. Uh, those are all the kinds of things that you have to deal with out here and um, you know that's how it is a psychological game which I've mentioned in one of my other videos and so all of these things together um, yes I'm walking away with a feather in my cap. Um, I did a good job. I'm getting paid for that load. And um, I, I, I've i reached a new threshold on, you know, my skill level that I know what I can do now out here. And um, there will be another day where uh, the challenge will be even more difficult, but I'm ready for it. You know, I'm up for that challenge. So that's the way I view this work out here, this, this industry and the work calling the frax in. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I really enjoyed telling the story and I enjoyed making this video. So uh, please give it a, a like, a thumbs up, and please subscribe to my channel. And come back and uh, watch for my next video. It should be as good or better than this one. Thanks for watching today.